Ian, uh, first game for Mullow and, uh, and all three points, it's, it's easy this managing Lark, is it not? <laughs> no, but it was it, it was good to have the buzz again back in the dugout. It was good to uh, to be to be making decisions, split in uh, in quick time at times. Um, it's great to, to go into our last five minutes leading 1-0 and, and, and trying to calm people down and um, you know I'm, I'm just really, really pleased for the for the players. And the coaching staff, we've worked really hard this week to, to get the three points and uh, we all go home happy. We'll take the game in chronological order, shall we? The, I thought we started really well, I thought we looked bright in the first 10-15 minutes and the, that only really maybe came to an end when St Norman down to 10 men, ironically enough. Yeah, we, we, we talk about having a good start and setting a tempo. You know, if you start the game lethargic, you tend to carry that on, it's very difficult to, to change the gears, but we um, we did. I think we won the ball back from, from their kick-off straight away. And, and, and it, it sets a tempo and it puts people into, into game mode and um, you know we, we tried to pass the ball, we tried to do it quickly, everything we spoke about, we tried to get people to free themselves up and a little bit of rotation, we tried to get people in behind so it stretches defences, um, it broke down at times and, and it's something that we'll, we'll work on. You know, but um, I was really pleased that what we tried to go and do, and we had to make a couple of changes at half time. One was enforced with um, with Obi taking a knock on the nose, and he was feeling a bit groggy. So it was on the doctor's advice. It was we had to to sort of uh, make that change. But um, I was also wary of Obi getting getting sent off as well because the crowd were were baying for blood at that stage. But um, no, Josh just felt would give us a little bit more legs going forward and positivity there. But um, but Fergie. You know, he's a young lad and he'll understand that with 10 men that I think fullbacks are critical um, and it's a learning curve for him but, uh, but again Josh has gone and, and created the goal um, people breaking the lines and getting in behind people and trusting people on the ball like Henrik to, to play them then them passes We'll come on to the goal just a second let's talk just briefly we came at two other incidents so first of all the, the red card and so I don't know how much you've seen mm. and also let's let's talk about the one that came off the bar have you had a chance to look at both of them and if you have what's your view? No I haven't looked at the centre sending off but um, in real time it's one of those where the, the the striker is coming across the defender who's clearing it if he mistimes it yeah. he's putting himself in danger which has, has obviously gone and happened um, the referee again I thought refereed the game very very well because again I think Obi was getting involved in tussles the crowd were were raucous in that, in that uh, respect and uh, you know some referees could buckle and look to, to even it up but he didn't there were some good challenges and, and, and he saw it that way the uh, the one that hit the bar was um, obviously you wouldn't like, like them seeing get the first header on it so defensively we can be better there but um, when I saw it hit the bar bounced down I actually thought it had hit the net and um, looking at it again, it obviously hasn't. Um, we've got away with that one. Focused a lot about the negatives. Let's talk about the, the main positive of the game, the goal. It, mm. it's, as I've seen it again, but even in real time when I was watching it, it's a, it's a fantastic you know, goal and yeah. you know, you know, real, real top quality. It's a, it's a great team goal. Yeah. And um, you know, it starts with the back four. We pass it early and quick and crisp. We get it out to Henrik, who drives inside. He's good at that. And again, you know, Kenny suggested to me, he says he likes going out on the left, we weren't really getting him on the ball in the number 10 role, so we put Lionel in there and, and, and put uh, Henrik on the left. Um, he drove inside, he played a couple of quick one-twos, and then the run from Josh Law was, was superb to, to give him the option to play, which he did, and, uh, and then people getting in the box. And not only John Sutton getting in there across the first man, but Lee Irwin around the back post for a tap-in if he missed it. So it was a great team goal and, and one we'll, uh, we'll enjoy analysing. It ticks all the boxes of what you've asked this team, isn't it? Sharp passing, sure. runs, yep. getting in the box, everything. Yep, it is because, you know, at times you can be a bit tentative as to make those runs in case it breaks down and I've got to then get back 60 yards. But um, it's trusting the people on the ball. It's trusting they'll get that ball to you. And, um, and it's all about that. that that's hard work. That's good play, but it's hard work and, and having the desire to get into them areas. You mentioned after the game last week, you spoke to me and you said that you felt, and spoke to the press, that there, there was areas you could work on, mm. there's areas of improvement. Have you seen those areas today and also other areas that you can think we can continue to get better? Definitely, definitely. We, we, you know, we, we've had a week together. We've probably had three, four training sessions. We've had a couple of meetings. Um, I actually thought I may have worked the players a little bit too hard this week and, and given them too much, but they've took it on board. And, and that's a pleasing aspect. You know, we've had to make two substitutions at half time. They were clued in, which is what I've been asking for. You know, they've not sulked that they're on the bench. They've gone and made it made an impact. And um, 
you know, get, get going, in, going into the part of this little game and we can work on those things a little bit more. And just finally, obviously, you touched it in your first answer, but how, how good was it just to be back on a, a side of a pitch being a manager again? Oh, you've been missing it. There's no better feeling. There really isn't. And when you when you hear that final whistle and you, you turn to your staff, um, you can have a, a little drink at the end of the week and, and uh, with, a, with, with, say, with delight that you've, uh, the work you've gone and done has paid off. Well done, congratulations. Thank you.